Hello everyone, welcome to BSP Solutions. And in today's video, we are going to discuss a new feature that is unbalanced general, uh, which is from the Oracle Financial Consolidation in Closed Cloud application. So let's start. So as you guys know that uh, we already have one feature that is we can pass journal entries through through like consolidation journal adjustment. Okay, and uh, uh, but now Oracle has released a new feature re recently that is unbalanced general and you can just enable that feature when you go to configuration and you will find you when you go to enable feature you can find this uh, unbalanced general you have to tick that and you have to save the settings okay so you have to enable this to use this use this feature and uh, when you enable it you will get a feature in enabling pop-up uh, in your screen and you're good to go okay so in the screen you can see that uh, previously like we have only have balance type of uh, uh, validation in the journal that uh, all the debits should match with the credits okay as you know that we have two aspects of the journal entry we have debit side and we have a credit side okay but now oracle has now released a new feature in which we can provide we can like post any sort of journal entry Either it can be uh, like balanced one or it can be unbalanced one. So in the balance type, you can see in the screen that we have to choose what type of balance sheet, uh, like what type of journal entry we are going to provide. We're going to make, okay. So if you choose the balance one, so there will be a rule that uh, in the variance section, um, the variance uh, should come as zero. Otherwise, it won't allow you to post any sort of journal entry, okay. But if you choose the balance type as unbalanced, in that case, um, you can surely post any sort of general entry. Uh, either the debit side or credit side should match or they should not match. So your entry can be posted in that scenario. Okay. So let's uh, make a uh, like post for entry and we will see a case use case um, in which we, we can certainly uh, use this feature. Okay. But uh, I want to give you one disclaimer that uh, from the accounting perspective, it is not advised that you should provide any unbalanced entries, but yeah, um, the ex exceptions are there anyways. Okay, so you can see we got uh, two options here, balance and unbalanced, unbalanced and balanced. Okay, and uh, I want to give you one brief that uh, unbalanced entry we can use for validation, import, export, and reporting. So for unbalanced journals, there will be no ba balance validation. Okay, so there will be no like validations for that okay and for balance journal the balancing balancing validation will still be there but you are allowed to post the journal entries okay and for reporting purpose you can filter the balance type like if you want to figure out what are the balance entries and what are the unbalanced entries you can surely figure that out okay and for import and export the balance type property will be assigned to each journal for application okay uh, when you have the unbalanced journal enabled and you will not uh, you will not be uh, able to import journal journals from an unbalanced journal enable application uh, to which any application there is uh, the feature is not enabled okay so that you have to look on to okay so let's go to our application and let's see our the let's let's pass our entry okay so in the navigator let me show you how we can you can enable the feature for the uh, what we say the unbalanced genders okay so in the enable features you will find that uh, it is already ticked in my application because uh, i've already like used this feature so you just have to tick it and enable it so let me close it and let's go to consolidation journals and there you will you will you will be able to pass any sort of general tree okay so before we uh, create any sort of um like journal Let's go to the smart view, which I have prepared for you and one use case for that. So this is the use case. This is a very simple case. You can um, make your any, you can use uh, like your any particular case. Okay. So uh, to test the particular case, we have like entry. We have one entry here. here. Okay. So the entry is that we have uh, unbook sales, unbook sales and uh, the cash account is debited. Okay. And uh, we are providing a discount. Basically, this is discount uh, allowed. 
account okay and we are allowing 5000 uh, of any sort of currency discount okay let's say it is in dollars okay so these are dollars so we are providing uh, sales entry here we are giving a, a sales entry here okay and discount is 5000 and the sales amount is $30,000 okay so but uh, what is going to happen is that this 5000 discount is already in our data okay in our application but uh, but these two entries are not done like these two the cash account of 20000 25000 is not uh, done and sales is still not done so these two figures we will uh, like this ad adjustment we will provide okay through the journal en entry so it will be like it will come in the journal input okay so now finally our entry will be the cj will be that is consolidation consolidated journal will be and that is specifically the unbalanced journal So this unbalanced journal will be, it will be cash account to sales amount, uh, to sales account, and the amount will be twenty five thousand and thirty thousand dollars. So this entry we will pass, okay? And uh, we need yeah data input for five thousand. We need that. So let's, uh, I've already connected one smart view for that. And you can see that we have the total data source and we have the for, for the children for it. These are the inputs we have. Okay, we have a data input, managed data, supplemental data if we have any. Okay, and other data and journal input finally. Then we, in the second row, we have the entity and we have financial year 15 and we have the January uh, January month. And this is the cash account and discount discount allowed account and this is the sales account we have. And you can see the other POVs as well. So this is actual scenario and use periodic entity currency is the currency and no moment we are doing for the moment I mentioned and um, entity input is the consolidation uh, member and from the intercompany we have no intercompany and we have custom dimension that is no product and local gap. Okay, so as you know that uh, whenever we have any data in our FCCS. Okay, so the data will come at a specific intersection. Okay, you know that. So either we, we pass any sort of general entry, it only goes to any particular intersection. So for the discount allowed, let's assume that we already have $5,000 in the discount allowed as an input. Okay. So I'm just uh, pasting 5,000 here. Okay. So this entry we will, uh, we have to pass because already 5,000 is, uh, is already in our application or in our database. Okay. This 5,000 is already here. So we just need 25,000 in cash and uh, 30,000 in sales. So let's go to application, our application and create a quickly create a journal entry. So let's uh, label it as unbooked uh, sales. Okay, and uh, for the 5,000 reason, like uh, why we are doing this entry. So the reason can be any reason, like um, uh, we, the discount is already provided by the ERP team or any sort of person that uh, from the tribe and the discount amount is coming, but the unbooked sales is still like, uh, like still not uh, feed in the application. Okay, so group is others, description is, um, Sales entry, okay, and balance in the balance in the balance type we have to choose it as unbalanced, okay, and uh, okay. So scenario is actual that we have already chosen in our while we created in the uh, like while we created in the journal entry, okay. So let's click on create and uh, I have some I have entity and account which I already know so entity is in the score one one. Okay, and my cash count is cash. And for intercompany, I'm choosing no intercompany. No movement for now. Okay, local gap for the multi gap. And no product.
okay so in debit side i want that it should come as 25000 and please uh, you can look at the variance also okay let me just copy the row and create another row okay so my account is for the sales is 41001 okay all the things are correct same okay so these are the POVs uh, which are like I've chosen for this entry and you can see at the variance we're getting ne negative 5000 okay so from the accounting perspective it is not uh, correct but yeah we are uh, for any adjustment we are using this feature okay so let's save it and after save we have to like uh, submit it and then we, we have the workflow you know that okay it is the workflow is enabled in this application so we i am submitting it and further i am just approving it okay and uh, one uh, one thing i want to mention that the period is already open for the particular month and the year so otherwise we won't be able to post any sort of, uh, like like submit or post any of the any sort of general entry that is required so it is posted okay and let me show you that the period is already open that is why we are able to post the entry so let's open the manage periods and you can see the period is already open okay so let's go to the smart view again and uh, you know that in the general input previously we didn't have any sort of data okay uh, let's refresh and let's see if you're getting any sort of data here. Okay, so now you can see that in the cash account we got the twenty five thousand, and uh, what we say, and in the sales account we are getting the thirty thousand. So now our balance, uh, let the the entry or whatever you say, the accounts are totally balanced and we are getting the data here. Okay, so this is what the unbalanced uh, journal do. Okay. And uh, from the data input, we are getting five thousand, and all the all the data is getting rolled up at that total data source. So these uh, figures you can you can have you can have a view on that. Okay. So this is what uh, enterprise like the consolidated general would do. Okay, and you can post any sort of generality in this way also. So thank you for watching this video, and if you have any sort of uh, doubt or query, you can visit bspsolution.com. And uh, thank you.